Tapestry weaving is an art medium. It's an artistic practice. We're creating something that is meant to evoke a feeling or an image or a thought or a place. And we're doing that through a medium in which we're creating an image at the same time as we're creating the design. It's also one of the only kinds of weaving that has to be done by hand. It can't be mechanized. So a true tapestry is one that has been hand woven. I really love teaching tapestry. Through my years of teaching tapestry in person and online, I've noticed that the most frequent sticking point for beginners and intermediate tapestry weavers is coming up with their own tapestry designs. As adult learners, we're pretty good at mastering the techniques of tapestry. We can read a book and follow the steps and learn all of those things, but it gets a little bit harder when we step into the art world of design and we try to translate our ideas and thoughts into an image that is actually woven with yarn. Either what to weave or how to do it or both can be big challenges when you're first starting to tackle designing for tapestry weaving. You do not have to be able to draw or have an art degree to make wonderful tapestry designs. Creativity is part of every human on the planet, and you don't have to go to university to learn how to be creative. However, it does help to have a little bit of background knowledge and a lot of time practicing. In 2021, we're going to dive into the second season of Design Solutions for the Artist Weaver. This online course will continue exploration of color and design principles in handwoven tapestry. Along the way, we'll talk to tapestry artists, both professional and emerging. We'll have plenty of discussion about how to come up with design ideas, what basic principles of color and design are, and how to move some of those ideas and principles together to create tapestry designs that evoke whatever it is that we have in our head that we want to express. And along the way, we'll have the advantage of being able to talk with myself and other learners in the course about how we're doing, what our design ideas are, and how to move them forward. So I do hope you'll join me for Design Solutions for the Artist Weaver Season 2. There's much more information about what we'll cover and what the course is like on my website. See you there!